Today we're at Guildford Cathedral and you might wonder why are we in a cathedral? Well Paula Doyle is here with me and we are going to see her magnificent Magna Carta quilts which are finally finished. They are, it's been a long haul. It has hasn't it, but they are looking wonderful. Well thank you very much Val, thank you. It's been a, it's been a joy to, do, to make them with the rest of the Magna Carta quilters. And how many, remind us how many quilts there are. There are eight quilts uh, and they celebrate the 800th anniversary of the sealing of the Magna Carta which happened on June 15th of this year. 2015. And your uh, quilts are divided into two different sort of sections, aren't they? There's two, there's two types of quilts. There are the, uh, the uh, medieval quilts, which tell the story of the Magna Carta and how it came to be. And then there's four legacy quilts, which are the human rights legacy of the Magna Carta. Okay, and that includes thread painting and all sorts of other oh, fascinating yes, absolutely. stuff. absolutely. We use mod cons throughout. Brilliant. Well, I'm really going to enjoy wandering around with you, Paula. So let's go and have a look. So, Valerie, here we are at the first of the medieval quilts. Now, I'll have to tell you a little bit about how they came to be. Two years ago, Clive Walker from Magna Carta School in Egham approached us with the idea of making the quilts. And the first thing that we did was go down to Winchester Cathedral to do some research about 13th century art, which would have been contemporary with the Magna Carta itself. Um, we started off with the Winchester Bible in the library, and there was this one part of the Winchester Bible, which is called the Morgan Leaf, which told the story of David and Goliath in a graphic novel style. And so we chose that that would be the style that we would make the quilts, but we would tell the story of King John and how the Magna Carta came to be. The other inspiration that we got from Winchester Cathedral was for the tiles that are in the border. They are based on the 13th century encaustic floor tiles at, at Winchester Cathedral. And we've designed 26 of them, one for each letter of the alphabet. So if you were to read around the four medieval quilts, uh, you could read in tile code that that would spell out the 39th clause of the Magna Carta, which is the one that has to do with human rights. Wow, real hidden message then. Yes, it's, it's full of hidden meanings. So Valerie, here we are in front of the first of the four legacy quilts. And we made the legacy quilts to represent the ongoing story of that first human rights issue that came up with Magna Carta, because we feel that all human rights stem from that. And we represented this by putting the 25 Magna Carta barren shields at the base of the quilt, out of which grows an oak tree that has leaves that bear the images of different heroes and personalities of various aspects of human rights around the world over the centuries. The background for each of the legacy quilts is hexagons. The hexagons represent English piecing, but they also represent the fact that back to Neo Neolithic times, there was a honey industry at Runnymede. Hence the bees. Hence the bees. Great. And the bees, there's one bee for every person who worked on the quilt, every one of the 25 Magna Carta quilters. Oh wow, 25 quilters, 25 barons. That's right, it, it's kind of spooky. <laughs> And um, the images you've chosen, it, the, the, this is the first, but they're clearly ancient and modern, if you see what I mean. Yes, absolutely. We try to choose people from around the world and over, uh, over a, a spectrum of years. Of course, we could only put images if we had them. And it took us a while to get uh, copyright images, copyright free images of a lot of these people. But also, a lot of times when it was somebody older, like let's say, uh, like Thomas Clarkson here, uh, we had to work from pictures of portraits that had been done because there was no photography when Thomas Clarkson was oh, around. Of course not. Of course not. And the copyright um, thing is very important, isn't it? Copyright oh, free. That took a long time to research and get it to where these images were sufficiently copyright free for us to use. And then, of course, they had to be of high enough resolution as well. Of course. So that we could get a posterize the image and get it ready for thread painting. So, Valerie, this is the reverse side of the quilt, the Thames Mosaic. 
and what it represents is a pixelated outline of the River Thames between Windsor and Staines, which is where Runnymede, Runny, Runnymede is located um, at, at this stage where the Queen's Block is. Um, and as you can see, this particular panel of the Thames Mosaic has some names embroidered on it. And these are the people that have helped us raise money to make and to exhibit the quilt. And for as little as 10 pounds, you can get your name embroidered on one of the empty blocks. Empty slots. Okay. Yes. So that's ongoing funding because... It is. It is because we, have, we still have some costs that are associated with the quilt and we have costs in exhibiting the quilt too. 10% um, of all monies that are donated uh, go directly to charity and our, our chosen charity is Liberty UK, which is Shami Chakrabarti's uh, human rights oh, yes. okay. uh, charity. Uh, and then anything that we might raise that would be over and above the costs of making the quilt would also go to Liberty eventually. Okay. And talking about the costs of the quilt, it's not just historical, is it? It's, it's, it's looking forward because you're going off to Houston, so you've got to yes. get the quilt there yes. safely. Yes, absolutely. Yes. And uh, there's insurance and all sorts okay. of other nice things like that. And after the Houston show, it's coming back to the UK? Yes, and we're in discussion with lots of other venues like okay. Salisbury Cathedral oh, to exciting. exhibit the quilt. And, uh, oh, brilliant. Uh, so stay tuned to I our website. Absolutely. We will make sure that everybody keeps in touch. Could I just mention the, the quilt stands too? Oh, of course. That were made because they were especially made for us by uh, Gary of CMJ Designs and the bases too. And the bases are covered with, uh, uh, with some covers that, were, that the ladies made all using their buttons. Uh, it's great use of buttons, yes, I must say. They're yes. fun. They're so, fun. so these are a bit like Lego because they sort of come apart and do all sorts of wonderful things too. And we're, we're very lucky to have had him uh, well, make a display for us. I was going to say they display your quilts beautifully. They do. So thanks again. Thank well, you. thanks to all the 25 Magna Carta quilters because I could not have done it without them. No, it's obviously a team effort, but well done to all of you. Thank you.